What's up, Intro Web? This is your boy 130. You know, I rep that intro media gaming.com. You need to go check it out. Got some of the hottest news, gameplay, game real gamers with their own opinion, podcasters, and everything. So go check out intro media gaming.com. It's at the bottom in the description. Also, tomorrow night on my channel, hosted by Mr. Always Up, Triple Cup Chuck, and the Heroic Vibration Podcast with Miss Rowe, Savage Carter, Flip Money, Always Online, and me, of course, 100, talking about comic books, video games, TV shows, Marvel, DC, and what else we feel like talking about. So go check that out, my channel, 6.30 Pacific Time, then Friday, GRG Podcast, hosted by K-Mega, with Bloody Knuckles, Operation The Lawyer, uh, 108 Dragons TV You need to go check out his channel also He just pulled out a video about 30 minutes ago Giving you that gaming news My man uh, Live Wire And me And who else that he brings on the show But uh, check us out Tomorrow night 6.30 Pacific time K Maker's channel GRG Podcast So uh, let's get with this and I was chilling the last few days. And me and my man Livewire was talking about this last night. And uh, I've been seeing people trip out on people that invested in Game Pass. I invested in Game Pass day one. For one is, I don't have to buy an exclusive. Because it comes with Game Pass. Um, I have Game Pass Ultimate now. Um... People saying this is bad for gaming. I don't know how it's bad for gaming. You know what I'm saying? Gaming is expensive. This is an expensive ass hobby, trust me. I'm like, whoa. The money that I spent. I just spent $400 on the Oculus Rift and bought about six games. And they were like, they ranged from $9.99 to $29.99. But, um, but like I said, check it out, man. Why are you people upset about Game Pass? Why should I have, if I don't have to spend $60 for a game, how does not supporting a developer? Supporting a de developer by me playing their games, buying transactions. Perfect example. I'm going to get to you. Um, I, I love Forza. You know, I'm a casual Forza player. I don't know how to tune up no cars. I just know how to make, put up vinyl on my cars. Shout out to my man, Baca. I got to check out Dark Baca. Y'all want a car? He'll hook your car up. You see, I made the Pony Gremlin. So, you know what I'm saying? Anybody want that, just hit me up. I can send you that vinyl. I mean, knowing that 1440p car. You know what I'm saying? Because I was showing real greatness. But no, it's, 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 it's real crazy that is gamers out there upset and a lot of some of most xbox gamers tell you i'm gonna keep it a buck i'm always up like triple cup chuck say yeah i'm off of three hours and a half hours of sleep so what i'm juiced now i was gonna do a live podcast about it but when i get home i'm finna go get me a wonderful fifth of whiskey and game because i didn't game last night I game, but I didn't game game because I was watching the Laker game and they lost some bum ass Clippers. Oh, I can't stand them trash. But, and y'all be thinking I'm crazy about that. Like, I'm not watching the basketball game until Friday. I don't care what comes on tonight because I'm a diehard Laker fan. I don't care about nobody else. I don't care about nobody else. Like, I'm a diehard Raider fan. Now you can see my passion when I say I'm a diehard Xbox fan. You see where it comes from. Because I'm loyal. Good or bad, I'm still there. I don't jump ship. I don't do no flip-flopping. I'm a, I'm a Clipper fan one minute. Or I'm a Charger fan the next. I'm a Rams fan. No. I don't do that. I'm loyal. Loyal to the game. So, um, this is, Game Pass is great because everybody does not have those pockets. What about people that have kids? I have one son. 
and a little cousin I help out. Their game it gets expensive. Just like a guy I forgot off thought. I forgot off thought, see, going crazy. I was saying I'm not a diehard Forza fan. Okay, this is what I did. We got Forza in Game Pass, Forza Horizon. I go into the store and I see the add-on. Let's say the ultimate add-on for which you bought the ultimate edition, all the James Bond cars, all the DLC, the season pass. It was all there for $39.99. So, since you gave this game part of Game Pass, I went out and I don't buy DLC day one unless I know I want to play it. Sometimes I wait till it goes on sale because I, I got so many games. I play so many, do so much stuff. So, I, I did it. And I was like, 40 bucks, that's a deal. So then I support a developer like that. So, since I gave 40 bucks, how do you think, how many other people went and bought that season pass? Got the James Bond cars. Get the DLC. See, Microsoft, that's why they're training down the company because they don't think pennies, they think dollars. Now, I know some people out there that sit there, oh, I got it in Game Pass, and then you buy it again. I don't know why. You could have spent that money on DLC if you want to get back and help them. You know? I, I just don't understand it. Like they gave us Gears of War 5 Ultimate. If you have Ultimate Game Pass, great. That means I get everything. But if I want a certain skin or something, I wouldn't mind giving them 20 bucks. Like with Halo, I love Halo. I love the lore, everything. Everything is free. The maps are free, all that free. But when they get certain skins, like they have the Halo World Championship skin, and they're saying they're donating half of it to the Halo Championship, so the prize money can get even bigger. I supported and gave them 20 bucks, and I got a, a skin that nobody else can get. I have people like, where you get that skin from? Never they had it. When they did the Halo Championship last year. But no one don't think that way. And then for developers to put their games in Game Pass, that means people are more adaptive to go and play them, even though if it's a third party. First party's not coming out of Game Pass. So if that third party put their game in, slide it in, just like World War Z. I wanted World War Z, but I was like, I got the time to pay for it. I got time to download it in Game Pass, and I played it once with some randoms. And then if I hear it's going to go out of Game Pass and I really like that game, I get a discount. Like me, like I said, me and I was having this conversation. Shout out to the Iron Lord podcast. I'll check them out. Uh, he said one of, the, one, one of the guys on there was sitting there like, why if you bought a TV for, say, $499, $499, take it home. It's just as great as a $5,000 television. You're going to go back to that store and get them, you know what I'm saying? What is that? $4,500? No. Think logical. Hell no, you're not going to do that. Hell no, you're not. I don't even... Don't even know why you put that in your head. You know you're not going to do it. If you are a person that likes to collect and you want a hard copy, you have the option. For those who, like me, are digital, and I have bought indie games day one when it came out, and it wasn't what I thought it was. I'm not looking to trade anything in. When I buy it, I buy it. And also, I don't have to worry about nothing. I don't want to worry about no scratch up disc or none of that. When this new Xbox come out, all my catalog is coming with me. Just plug it into the USB port and we're just gonna go. 
My control is going to carry over with me. It's going to go over to the next one. Enjoy the greatness of Xbox. But some of you guys, I don't understand. And like I said, this Xbox dudes was talking about it. You know what I'm saying? You know the PlayStation fans talking about it. Shout out to my man King David. He was over there giving them the business. Telling the straight up facts. I saw him on Twitter this morning. Now he's going to enjoy his Game Pass. And then Game Pass helps. Man, I'm going to put it this way. Game Pass helps somebody that doesn't. Or it actually helps because that person says, I don't have to worry about my, my first party titles. So I can go buy a Borderlands 3. I can go buy a Call of Duty. I'm making go buy what else coming out? Uh, Death Stranding. <laughs> you buy that shit. <laughs> your money. But you, you have other options to place your money at. I, I ain't never thought. I, I game pad, I said it was going to. I said day one. I said, oh, this is the greatest thing in gaming. But people listen to all these media, want to be journalists, outlets out there that don't play these games. You got these YouTubers that don't play these games but complain about it, just like they complain about xCloud and they don't have access to it, but they want to talk about it and be it, not instead of being about it. They want to act like they know everything. They act like they run a trillion dollar company. They want to run their own household. I'm just being real. But I wanted to say this. I might do a video tomorrow. See, it's hot out here in L.A., man. Thank God I'm in an air-conditioned damn building. I might do a video because I got something else to say. And I can work remotely for the office, office, working from home for the rest of the week. So that's cool for me. But this, 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 this shit is a trip. And some people are mad because they don't feel the way they feel. Now, your, it's your opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's your opinion. You got the right. I live in, I live in America. You can say what the hell you want to say. I'm just being real. But this is your boy, Mr. Keep It Above 100 Intro Media Gaming Man. Oh, man. You know what, just to, just to piss people off, I'll probably give away Game Pass next month. Three months on. 100. Might get out multiples. Let's just see how I feel. At least going to give out one. And let you enjoy some real greatness. Some real greatness. Real, real, real greatness. So, Mr. Keep It Above 100. Man, let me go. Shoot, I need a, I need some damn caffeine. I'm up for three and a half hours of sleep. And I'm still going to be up down there all night gaming. Because I need to run through some stuff. I start playing. What I start playing again? I start playing Wolfenstein 2 again yesterday. I got so many games in my catalog. It's crazy. It's crazy. Then I go back and play the old Samurai Showdowns. That's so great. You know? Might try Fallout New Vegas. You see, you get the World War Z. Dead Rising 4, I kind of didn't really like. I might give it a chance. You got Death by Daylight. My son loves that. I really don't. You got State of Decay. People saying, oh, Xbox ain't got no games. You got Jump Force. Come on. You even got raggedy ass soccer cars. They do Mortal Kombat X. You got Hellblade, got a Doom, the Metro, Alien Isolation, I never played it. You got Prey, I might play Prey. Know what I'm saying? You got Black Desert. If you ain't never played Michonne, you need to play that Michonne. That Telltale's game is it's good, it's good, it's real good. But let me get my ass out of here, man. Y'all get on the gaming, man. Y'all watch yourself out here in these gaming streets with all these fraud gamers out there. 
You know what I'm saying? Thank you for coming by. You don't have to hit the thumbs up. You don't have to like. You don't have to comment. And you don't even have to subscribe. Because I'm not going to beg you to do that. Because if you're going to do it, I want you to do it on your own. 100. I'm out.